Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve symmetric tree leak code number 101. So we're given the root of a binary tree and we need to check whether it is a mirror of itself, aka that it's symmetric around its center. So here's an example of a symmetric tree. So this would ultimately return true because we have the root here of one, its left is two and its right is two. Okay, if you picture simultaneously going left and right, well over here on the left, the left is three, but over here, the right is three. And over here, the right is four, that means that over here at the other two that its left must be four. So all of those things match, and so we would return true. This down here is an example of a non-symmetric tree. So one has a left of two and a right of two, and over here on the left, we see that its left is none and its right is three. So over here at this two, we better have the opposite, that its right is empty and its left is three, but it's not. It's actually matching. These two subtrees are actually equivalent. We don't want them to be equivalent. We want them to be symmetric. So this example would be false. Okay, so let's work with this example where it is symmetric. So you could think of one reference to the node here in green and another one in red. And we just wanna make sure we get the same results going left and right. So when we go left, we wanna make sure we see the same going right. Okay, we do. If we go left, we wanna make sure we see the same result going right. Okay, we do. Importantly, when we go left, we wanna make sure we see the same going right. We do, they are both none. If we had basically anything over here, then that is going to be false. So we need to check those ones as well our leaf nodes, and luckily those are okay. So now we also need to check right over here and left over here. Yes, they both match, so that's good. Okay, we'll go back up here and say, okay, do we see the same thing going right over here and left over here? Yes, we do. Let's make sure we see the same going left over here, right over here. Yes, we do. Same going right over here, same going left over here. Okay, so basically we make sure that everything is matching every single step of the way. If it is, we return true and otherwise we'd return false. You could think of this basically as a DFS and we're going to have kind of two node references going different parts of the tree. So we'll make a helper function and I'm actually going to call it same because we're basically just doing the same thing if you've solved that problem same tree, seeing if two trees are the same. Well, that's really what this function is doing except we're just going to call it a little bit differently. So it takes two roots, root one and root two and we'll just write pass here to show you that at the very beginning, we'll just call this on same on root and root and we just need to make sure that we're seeing the same things. If we don't have root one and we don't have root two, that's actually a good thing. It means we're null on both sides. So that's actually a thumbs up signal. That's good. Okay, if we're past this, it means that we know we have at least one of the two nodes. So if we don't have root one or we don't have root two, if we're missing either of them, that means there's a mismatch. And so we should return false here. If we're over here, we know we have both of the roots. We need to make sure that the values are matching too. So if if the root 1.val is not equal to the root 2.val, that's another way they could be different. So we would return false there. Otherwise, we just need to make sure that the same is true recursively. So we need to make sure we see the same results when we go left and when we go right. That means that we need to make sure that we're the same when we're at root one and we go left and we're at root two and we go right. And we need to make sure, by the way, we can write this kind of backslash thing here to carry this on the same line. So, and it must be true that when we're at root one and we go right, we get the same results when we're at root two and we go left. So very similar to the function called same tree. All of this stuff is the same. It's just kind of the way you're actually going down the tree. So this is how you check if it's symmetrical and if you run this, this is going to work. It is going to run in a time complexity of, well, we're really just visiting all of the nodes. So it's going to be a big O of N solution. And the space complexity of this, because of the recursive call stack, it's essentially a DFS that will have O of H, or in the worst case, that will have O of N space on the call stack. So here you go, guys. I hope that was helpful. Drop a like if it was, and have a great day. Bye-bye.